In this video, I had planned to tell you about the G4 doorbell power supply, but Ubiquiti have gone and announced that they're releasing the G4 doorbell pro. Well, I mean, in that case, I don't think really this video is gonna be too much use, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you how this device works anyway. In this video, we're gonna take a look at the G4 power supply and how it connects to the doorbell itself. Like I mentioned on Ubiquiti's YouTube channel, they have released the G4 Doorbell Pro announcement, but we're gonna go ahead and show you how this connects for anybody that's still using this one. So we're gonna take a look at what comes inside the box, what comes inside this box as well, if you haven't seen one before, and how we connect it all up together. So inside the G4 Doorbell, let's quickly go ahead and open this. You have the doorbell itself, and it comes with the two connectors on the back. Pop that to one side. You have a mounting plate with a spirit level. Keep in mind, this is the EU version, so you may not have everything exactly the same in the US. Um, some mounting screws, a side profile for it to be mounted on. These two allow you to use any existing cable, and this one you would use with a chime. This comes with a transformer, so if you don't need, if you have one already, fine, you don't need this, but if not, it comes with a transformer as well. That's everything inside the doorbell. Um, as I mentioned, you would connect this up via some cabling. I do have another video on this where I go through how to set this up with a chime. I'll pop the link up and I'll pop it down in the description below. So if you wanna have a look at that, I will leave that there for you. Now, in terms of this power supply, inside here, we take a look at what comes inside. I don't expect there to be anything too different. This which is the main unit itself, which plugs into the wall. And then we have the two clips that we've seen on the others on the other side also as well, which is just this. So that comes inside the box. So depending on who you order it from, they will come with an adapter for the UK, for the guys in the UK. So this comes with a European adapter, um, but in the UK, you can just use a straightforward converter and then use this plug. I got sent this by Lin ITX, so a big thank you to those guys for sending this out to me, and they'll send you an adapter with it as well. I'll leave a link down in the description for them as well. Now this device will set you back uh, $29 in the US and £25 in the UK. Um, in terms of the price for this device, it's fairly cheap um, if you just want to plug it into a wall, rather than getting an electrician out to cable it all up for you, or if you're a DIY, you can do it yourself. But most people generally will get an electrician to do this. So for 25 pounds, uh, you can go ahead and plug this into the wall. It is a bit big and bulky, but that's because the transformer is built inside this. Um, so it's not too bad. Let's go ahead and put this in and get it to the test. So on the back of the doorbell, you've got these two little things here where these would connect to. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this just before I connect it. There you go, you've got a nice long cable here. This is six meters in length. So you can probably trial this fairly far, far away from your doorbell, hopefully to your nearest plug. So let's go ahead and connect this all up on here. So I do have an abundance of cable, which obviously isn't always nice to deal with. But we take these two prongs just here. We open up the screws on the back here. We can pop one in. Doesn't really matter which way these go. These can go in any, any way and it will work. So pop that in one, and we can pop this into the second one, just like so. And there we go, they're now, oh, well, they were on there. <laughs> Let's go ahead and put them in again. There we go, they're a bit more secure now. Just gonna go ahead and plug in the plug. So if I now go ahead and turn this on, you can see that the doorbell is gonna power, there you go. So I've got power into the doorbell just here and you can see that is working. And just one final thing just to show you, you can see that the doorbell is now appearing on here. So you're able to connect to it and it's booting up and yeah, you can just add it to your normal protect. Well, there isn't too much more to say on this. I mean, if you have a plug nearby and you don't wanna pay for an electrician, you can go ahead and just buy one of these and plug it in. The only thing I haven't mentioned is connecting this up with a chime. Now, I've not had a lot of time to play around with this to see whether it can be connected to a chime. Um, judging by the way the cables are set up, most probably not. Thank you, that does keep happening until you do get it set up. 
But I mean, if you don't wanna use a chime and you're not gonna be using one and a plug, I mean, there you go. I mean, this is everything you just need just to plug it straight into the wall. All the links are down in the description below. So if you wanna have a look at them, feel free to check them out. This is Inside Wire and I'll see you in the next one.